Good evening, I'm Elizabeth Cook. And I'm Ryan Yamamoto. Just as San Francisco remembers the deadly 1906 earthquake, Northern California was hit with multiple small quakes this morning. Here's a map showing the four total earthquakes reported today by the USGS. The biggest was a 4.3 magnitude. That was about 32 miles north of east of Bakersfield. The other three were in the Pinnacles National Forest in the Central Valley, Belden in the uh, Plumas National Forest and off the coast of the California coast near the Oregon border. They measured 2.5, 2.7, and 3.4 respectively. Now, thankfully, they were nothing close to the 7.9 magnitude quake that hit 118 years ago in 1906, which, along with the fires that followed, caused massive damage and devastation. Sean Chitness has a look at some historic photos that can help us appreciate what the city went through and how it recovered. Scenes from more than a century ago offer a snapshot into the destruction that consumed San Francisco in 1906 from a major earthquake and the fire that started soon after. I'm born and raised here in San Francisco. I love our first responders. I love our, our history of San Francisco. And this was a great way for me to contribute back to the city uh, and, and keep the history of our first responders, all the different departments alive. David Cruz is with the Guardians of the City, an organization that preserves the history of first responders in San Francisco. Remembering our history, remembering the survivors, remembering those who perished is an incredible way for us to remember who we are as a city, how resilient we are as a city as we continue to move forward today. And as events this week mark 118 years since the 1906 earthquake and fire, reminders of the impact on the city can be found everywhere, including the San Francisco Elks Club Lodge number no. 3. It was destroyed in 1906 and rebuilt at the location it stands in today, a place at the time to help house survivors. This week, it hosts ceremonies to honor those who helped to protect pieces of that history. And even welcomes artifacts that remain a part of the collection. These events help David to remember the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake, which has a lasting impact on him. Uh, I lived here uh, and I was a young child and uh, it was a scary moment for me. And that's what I think about if uh, uh, when the next one hits, um, what our community is going to look like, the type of uh, support that they're going to need uh, and how we're going to continue to rebuild San Francisco. The ruins of the city captured in photos like these serve as a window into the tragedy at the time. But volunteers like David with the Guardians hope history provides just as powerful a visual for all of us to be prepared in the future. Well, this morning, city leaders and first responders held a commemoration ceremony at Lotus Fountain. That's on Market Street, which residents had used as a meeting point after the quake. A brief was laid at the spot dedicated in the memory of the late Senator Dianne Feinstein and also those who died in the quake. After the ceremony, there was a procession to the gold-painted fire hydrant on 20th and Church Streets near Dolores Park. Got a little fresh coating there.